reprogrammed your brain. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Frank Factor. If you've been relying on the mainstream media for your news and information, you probably don't know about Democrat Dennis Kucinich introducing an impressive 35 articles of impeachment against George W. Bush. Impeachment should have been on the table a long time ago. For the record, I believe George W. Bush and his co-conspirators are guilty of war crimes, even if the administration acted by choosing to believe select intelligence that supported the claim that Iraq had WMD, there was never any credible evidence that Iraq presented an imminent danger. The war was sold to the American people by a deliberate effort to deceive. The Bush administration pushed propaganda into the media to support their fraudulent claims as fact, and the media, propelled by fear and greed, aided and continues to aid and abet that criminal activity. The administration acted in collusion with corporate entities, private consultants, and political supporters in secret and to the exclusion of the American people. The criminal activity of the Bush administration eclipses the illegal activity of nearly every administration in our nation's history and has eviscerated America's credibility around the world. Bill Clinton was impeached for failing to tell the truth regarding an extramarital affair, and yet a cadre of corporate criminals evade consequences for actions far worse, actions that have needlessly killed and maimed hundreds of thousands, including American soldiers and innocents, all the while funneling billions of corporate billions of dollars to corporate benefactors and plunging America into debt. No doubt some of you are hiding behind Congress having voted to grant the president the ability to go to war with Iraq as justification for the Bush administration's catastrophic deceit, but that argument is baseless because fraud trumps consent. Congress acted poorly, no doubt, but Congress acted upon the information as presented by the administration and at worst was guilty of trusting the Bush administration not to be the bald-faced liars that they turned out to be. A major step towards regaining respect as a nation would be to live up to our own constitution and rule of law, to set a precedence that not only will Americans not accept marital infidelity, but we will not suffer war criminals. And moreover, for those who are making excuses and straining to justify the Bush administration and to discredit my claims, you might want to answer some questions honestly, if you have the courage. Had Al Gore and his administration, or any other Democrat for that matter, acted in the same manner as the Bush administration, would you make the same excuses? Would you still wave the flag and condemn those who question the legality of their actions? Are you just another partisan hack? A mindless drone placing party over principle? Well, come November, you might have an opportunity to prove just how much integrity you do have. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Frank Factor.